One of the most common uses of the project to design constraint is where you have a pavement layer that you want to go out at a defined slope and intersect the solution of the end conditions. In this case, we have one pavement layer, uh, but this method would apply to a pavement layer and any subgrade layers that may exist down here. But in this case, we have one pavement layer and we have several fill in conditions here and a cut in condition in our template. Now we don't know which end condition is going to solve until we go and run this template in the roadway designer, but we do know that we want this pavement layer to go out and intersect whichever end condition solves. If we test this end condition and draw the surface, we can see that no matter what end condition solves currently, the pavement layer is going to stay the same, and we wanted it to go out and project to the design. So to do that, we'll right click on our point here. The first constraint we will want to change to a vector offset constraint. We will make this point stay on the same vector offset from the center line to the edge of pavement with an offset of the depth of the section. And what this allows us to do is when this roadway goes into super, the bottom of our pavement layer will super at the same rate by staying on that same vector. Our second constraint is going to be the project to design constraint and we will give it a distance. And what the distance does is it tells it, first of all, in which direction to go out and look for the design, positive to the right and negative to the left. And secondly, it tells it how far is a maximum distance to go look for the design. So in this case, we'll enter in a positive 50, telling it to go look 50 feet to the right for the uh, solution. When we hit apply and close, we'll see that we have a dotted line now here in our component, indicating that this component is going to move. And when we test and draw our components, we can see uh, that no matter which solution is solved in our end conditions, our pavement component is going down and meeting the end condition.